Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BOXL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. While this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, whoops, but very nice movement today, not only from a price action perspective, however, you look down here at the volume and from a volume perspective, not even close, gigantic volume, biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some levels of support and then we can talk areas of resistance. So the first level of support, is what I would call the ideal level. And that means, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up here above $3.25. Now don't get me wrong, if the price falls below $3.25, I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can manage to actually stay up above that area, that would definitely be a huge sign of power. Now I should probably note that I'm talking about things from a big picture point of view. So if you're some sort of day trader and you bought right there or you bought right there and you wanted to sell within 10 minutes after buying, well then yeah, for you the chart looks really bad right now. So keep in mind, I'm making all these comments um, you know from more so the grand scheme perspective so again ideal level right there at 325 now taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture that is where the purple line comes into play the famous 50 period simple moving average keyword being moving as time goes by this line here is going to move itself higher and higher so a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move this right here being defined as quote unquote the move just watch that purple line as long as the price stays above that line as the line itself moves higher and higher then the bulls are in full health the bulls are in full control how are you can best visualize that you know that is what's being represented again yeah staying above 325 that would definitely be ideal but from the big picture of it all as long as the price stays above that purple line the bulls are in full control of the chart as far as levels of resistance are concerned not really a huge priority in my opinion uh, yeah you have some levels up around 450 and then slightly above there but after you know the big pullback that occurred uh, in my opinion top priority right now is just trying to establish some sort of uh, you know consolidation point and chipping away and building higher bases because that truly is the name of the game so yeah we'll see how this one continues to play out one of the biggest questions I get is hey Clay how do you find the stocks that you trade so what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.